how you doing? Hey, to see you here from me and here and there. Right, so your video for this, for, well, for tonight, um, just a quick running session. Let me show you what I've got on. We've got a beautiful Virgin Class 47 with some lovely Virgin carriages on. Um, and if I bring that other one round and just back Virgin out a minute, you'll see what other one I've got lined up for us to have a quick look at. Yes, it's my Rail Freight Class 47. He's putting some um, containers tonight, only a few. I just wanted to just um, throw some wagons on it tonight. Um, you see this one now and again pop up, it's the one with sound. I'm running DC tonight though, so we haven't got the sound unfortunately. But let's get a moving, let's see what we can do. And um, Bob's your uncle, there we are look. You can tell it's a modern locomotive because look how good that is over that set of points. Absolutely brilliant, it really is. And with our virgins, as you can probably tell, we've got lights in them. It really does well, especially over there, because that's the, the one that catches them out, that is. That's the one that normally catches every train out. Don't ask me why, I haven't got a clue. To me, it's just a set of points. But, when you get over there, if I slow this right the way down, that normally catches every locomotive out. And as you can see, it's a modern locomotive, this one is. That's why it doesn't get caught out. I think what it is, if I'm honest, if I can just bring that round there like that for a minute, I think what it is, it's the insulated frog here. You know the V in the middle there? I think it's that. Um, but on the modern locomotives, they have more wheels picking up the power. So that's what does it, you know. You've got to have the um, the more wheels you're going to have picking up um, power, the better. So let's get everything moving. Right, so that's that one going now. Let's set the um, the Toulouse Labots. It's the traffic lights. It's all green, and then we can get the um, the Virgin one moving as well. Because they're all on green now, so that's brilliant, that is. Absolutely marvellous. And I got that about the 11 o'clock power. The Virgin one. The Rail Freight one, I've got about 10 o'clock on the power. So, a little bit more than the... Um, a little bit less, I should say, than the Virgin one. But um, the Virgin one's coming a bit more weight. Because these carriages, again, because they've got lights in, they're very heavy carriages. They really are. Well, as you can see, they're whistling around quite good. Well, hey, brilliant. Absolutely marvellous. Lovely, that is. Brilliant. That one goes quite quick, really. That um, rail freight distribution locomotive. We've done half motor. Let's get this Virgin one moving a bit quicker, though. Going like an old man. Here you are, look. And all the carriages are lit up except the first one. I haven't got the LEDs in that one yet. But um, the rest of them have been done. That's brilliant, that is. And I think them um, container wagons do that really well. They really do. They really do that some good, that, um, these container wagons. Um, really good, good wagons in there. Really good. Let's get it moving again. Ooh. 
if we're looking at realistic speeds, we'd be probably looking at that. That we would. If we was going to go realistic speeds. Marvellous, marvellous. But yeah, these 47 used to whistle past the ASI groupie. And they never did the Virgin livery, of course. It was VR Blue when... Um, what I'm talking about in the 80s. And... Um, yeah, you'd very often have a, a freight train go through. With, um, or a, you know, a corporate blue locomotive. I can't miss the um, corporate blue. I don't think they'll ever put it back to VR. But you don't know. You don't know. Well, that's brilliant, though, that is, isn't it? Really good. Now, you watch something go wrong before I finish tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something goes wrong. It doesn't um, go smoothly, does it? <laughs> What more can you do? No. I must admit, I do like the um, the virgin colours. The red and black, I, I think, looks quite smart, to be honest. I really do. But this. Um, Class 47 is pulling these virgin carriages. This one's a bit of a beast. Let's put it this way, about 20 carriages behind that and it still pulled it. So this ain't breaking into a sweat with these carriages on. Not it end. But yeah, beautiful engines though, the 47s was. Absolutely marvellous. Let me get a, a good shot for you, um, you know, a, a laid back shot sort of thing. Oh yeah, look. Absolutely brilliant. What you can do with a small layout, really is. I like to normally keep a couple of shunters on there, but um, I've run on here tonight and I haven't got my shunters on, so... Well, I usually keep a couple on. But this one is a diamond. It really is. We just hold that there. Um, this one, as you know, it's got sound and everything on it when I'm running DCC. It does everything. Everything that locomotive does. It's a brilliant one. Um, for authentic, yes, DCC is the way to go and it is the future. But um, not everybody can afford DCC, so they have to have DC. But I don't know. I've got DCC. I've got it here. Yeah, let me just grab the, the transformer. There you are. I've got DCC because so that's what that is. But I don't know. I don't all the time run DCC. I run both, and I get just as much fun out of the um, the DC ones. As I do the DCC, um, I get just as much fun out of them. I really do. Okay, you can't have the lights on in the carriages because if I just stop the train, look, it, don't, it, it turns the lights off. But if you ain't bothered about losing your lights, um, DC, I think, is you know, is a good, affordable way to go. And like, you can save up and get a DCC transformer later on. And you can start buying these DCC locos. Um, they're not mega expensive, no. You can. Um, they're not cheap, but they're not mega expensive. The price has come down on them no end, to be honest. 
They really are. But there's your video. Brilliant, that is. I know Virgin run the um, the East Coast Main Line, and they've got different colours on the East Coast one. But I prefer the West Coast and this colour. This is what they um, they they use on the West Coast. This one is. I haven't been told any different. You know, so you know, I'm, I know I'm right with that one. But there you are, brilliant, absolutely marvellous. And you know something, I can't believe that nothing's gone wrong. <laughs> They're really guards. <laughs> oh dear, but there you are. There's your class 47s. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I'm going to carry on playing with, playing with the trains and um, I'm going to leave you to it. But um, yeah, them um, container wagons, you can pick them up reasonably priced now. Um, them are really good. And you can, you know, get a rack of... Um, eight or nine of them and not it won't cost you a fortune it really won't and the good thing is you can take these containers off as i've showed you in the past and just run the the, the what they call the spine wagons they're called spine wagons if i just bring that forward i've got one on the back they are look and you can run it like that without the containers on if you want but um yeah brilliant so i'm going to carry on playing with the trains and I shall um, catch you on the next one. If you've got any suggestions of what you want to see, let me know on email. Ian here and there at gmail.com. That's all one word. And I will catch you again very soon. Have a good evening. Bye for now. Ta-da. Thanks for watching.